my brothers and sisters. This is an urgent message. You may not think it's urgent, but I'm feeling my spirit, it is urgent. And um, the time is drawing near. This message is to say, get in your word because that is the only offensive weapon you will have. The armor, the spiritual armor, the helmet of salvation, the, the breast, the breastplate of righteousness, the the belt of truth, the shoes of peace to preach the gospel, the shield of faith. All those are for defense. But the word is your sword. Now, ask yourself. Why would the Lord give you a sword if he wanted you to just play defense? That don't make sense. The times are very funny, if that's the word I'm looking for. If you don't, it, it, you gotta watch watch and pray so I, I don't really I don't really get into the news because that is where Satan operates with the spirit of fear they are owned by so many companies or so many families and they promote the same things just in a different tone but that's a different conversation for a different time but if you're not paying attention, I pay attention just enough. And I know enough to know that these millionaires and billionaires are building bunkers. Hmm, that should tell you something's going on. Something is happening. Something is about to happen. These billionaires and millionaires are selling off stocks a lot that means something is happening something is about to happen now you can prepare and stock up food and water and guns and ammo and toilet paper and all the other stuff that you might want to hoard but at the end of the day if you're not spiritually prepared Nothing else matters. So my suggestion to anyone who comes across my voice, get in your word. I don't care if you can't understand it. You better get into it like your life depends on it because in actuality it does. Ask the Holy Spirit to come in you and give you knowledge. That is what the Lord wants to give to you. So if you ask in his will, he will give it to you. Now, I can't sit here and tell you every time I read the Bible, I understand everything. But I'm going to keep on reading it and keep on reading it in it. Because there's been times that I didn't understand something and I read it again and it just hit me like a couple bricks upside my head. It's like, oh, that's, oh, 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 thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. I remember the first time I read Hebrews, I was like, man, this, I feel like I'm reading Chinese. And then the second time I read Hebrews, man, I started, I, it was like, it was jumping alive to me. Anyway. Read the word, read the word, read the word. That's the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So, out of all this chaos and stuff going on, man, if you in the word, you ain't got nothing to worry about. 
Because this is not our home. And there's going to come a time where people are going to say they're going to tell the mountains to jump on top of them. They're going to be hiding under rocks, wishing death come upon them. But if you prepared, you in the word, you know what's going on, you ain't worried about it. Hey, you don't got to listen to me. But you will remember me one way or another. Man, guess he was kind of right. <laughs> hey, get in the word. You can prepare physically all you want. But if you're not fit, uh, spiritually prepared, all the other stuff don't even matter. Get in the word.